Today we are going to cover how to create the 3D topo solid in Revit from the CAD file. Here I have the CAD file that already has a 3D geometry in it. When I rotate it, I see that all of these lines, they are 3D and they have the height. And obviously I'm not going to create manually terrain since I already have geometry here in Revit. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this very quickly and automatically. First I enter my Revit file and first thing I do is link my CAD file. I go to link CAD and I select this file. What I have to do first is choose my import units and when it comes to choosing the import units what's important here in these geolocation files is actually choosing the right units and the right unit is the one that this drawing is actually drawn in. For example, if I go to UN in CAD, I can see that the drawing is unitless. That means that I manually have to check which units are used. So I go to measure tool and I choose distance tool. I'm going to measure some distance that is actually familiar to me. And for example, here we have this path. And once I measure this path, I see that its unit is 1.8. Eight, and that means obviously that those units are meters. So here I am going to choose meter. I'm not going to use auto detect because auto detect will work only if your units are set up properly in your file and in case of this file they are not. So I just choose meters here and as for positioning I'm just going to leave it as it is and also for all of these other options. Of course, very soon we are going to do the linking as a separate lesson, so we are going to cover all of these options in much more detail. For now, let's just leave it as it is, and I'm going to click open. And we have linked our file, and we can go to 3D and see how it looks like. We do have this 3D geometry, but this 3D geometry is actually AutoCAD geometry, so it's not useful to us in our Revit file. We do want to create a topo solid from this file, and for that we are going to use Massing and Sight topo solid tool. But before I get into that, I actually first have to check which of the layers actually define my geometry. Here I see that I have these orange lines and then I have these brown lines. So obviously I need to just first check out which layers are actually going to be used to generate my geometry. I can do it manually by going to AutoCAD and just seeing which layers they belong, but the easiest and the quickest way is actually from Revit itself, because here we can just click on this geometry and we can use the query tool. I can then click on orange layer and I see its layer name. Then I do the same for the brown layer and I see its name as well. And I remember these layers name because soon I'm going to use them to generate my geometry. I now go to Topo Solid tool and I choose Create from Import tool. I then choose Create from CAD option and I select my AutoCAD file. Now I just choose Check None here and I only select those two layers that are orange and brown lines because those are the only layers that define our 3D geometry. Once they are selected, I click OK. And now my geometry is generated. Once I turn off this AutoCAD file, I'm just going to go to Manage Links and I'm going to click on Unload. And I see what it looks like. It looks very good. It's a very detailed and very correct terrain. So if you have those files in AutoCAD that are modeled well, you can actually generate the terrain from them extra quickly.